The Social Network has riveting dialogue and drama that makes you appreciate the screenplay and acting rather than the story itself. That's why The Social Network won its awards for screenplay and editing rather than overall best picture, which pilfered the only screenwriting award Nolan had a chance at winning. Suck on that, Nolan fans. Aaron Sorkin's writing and Finch's masterful direction gave us a lightning in a bottle that's highly rewatchable 10 years on. But that's not to say there aren't other collaborations or dramas that are just as riveting or engaging. With that in mind, I'm Vamsi from Smartness Proxy and here are 6 movies like The Social Network that are highly rewatchable. In this Sorkin's directional debut, Jessica Chastain plays Molly Bloom, an actual Olympic skier who also ran a high-stakes poker game with big shots from Hollywood, sports stars, business titans and such. Basically the opposite of whatever Jeffrey Epstein did. With snappy script from Sorkin and incredible performances from Jessica Chastain and Idris Elba, this thing moves like the disc was coated in butter, or olive oil if you're into that sort of thing. In typical Sorkin style, it's full of clever dialogues and witty zingers that keep the drama at hand engaging from beginning to the end. It's crazy that this went unnoticed by most movie geeks, but hey, what can you expect from an audience that wants Justice League Snyder Cut? If you enjoy the quips and walk and talk style that you've seen in the social network, there's a high chance that Molly's game is going to play right into your hands. This was the OG Wolf of Wall Street before it was a thing, featuring Alec Baldwin as a sales motivator for a group of salesmen whose career is on the line, and not the kind of line that you saw in Wolf of Wall Street. It's cocaine. It's an adaptation of the play written by the screenwriter himself, David Mamet. At its core, it's about a group of men whose time has passed and their character study. If that doesn't get your attention, it's got a stellar cast like Al Pacino, Ed Harris, Kevin Spacey, and even Alec Baldwin. Watching them act almost feels like a verbal orgy that you're missing out on. The sharp dialogue and compelling characters will make you want more with its short 90 minute runtime. The thing I find even more riveting and thematically similar to The Social Network was the wheelings and dealings of real estate salesmen to the inner business corporate ship of the social media giants. After a failed attempt with Ashton Kutcher as Steve Jobs, Danny Ball and our boy Aaron Sorkin took the jobs of creating an honourable Jobs biopic. Like the iconic man himself, Steve Jobs gathers a fantastic cast of people to deliver a product that is sleek and elegant with intricacies in its core. Michael Fassbender, Seth Rogen, Kate Winslet give powerhouse performances that make the highbrow drama utterly engrossing. The writing, as expected from Sorkin, is top-notch with biting dialogue and incredible pizzazz portrayed on screen. It takes a look at the binary side of the genius at center stage and his unorthodox methods. It's almost like Zuckerberg from Social Network, but even lesser fashion sense. This list might start to look familiar if you're a Sorkin fan, because A Few Good Men was one of the first screenplays. Tom Cruise, Jack Nicholson and Demi Moore star in this entertaining courtroom drama that has the fast-talking, high-octane dialogues that you'd expect from the writer. This was before all the couch-jumping drama that you saw from Tom Cruise, of course. He plays a lawyer who defends two years marines charged with murder, while Jack Nicholson plays a commander who's trying to sweep it under the rug. This intriguing premise works thanks to the fantastic writing and deft direction, and also only a few good men watch this movie, so let me know if you're one of them. Jake Gyllenhaal and Dan Gilroy created a tension-filled thriller with brilliant acting and writing that moves like a paparazzi behind a celebrity. Jake plays a stringer or nightcrawler who's down on his luck and an anti-hero taking advantage of the unemployment and capitalism in Los Angeles. His twisted methods and adherence to his own rules makes every scene more fascinating. Although Jake and Dan did another movie called Velvet Basso, it never reached the heights of their first collaboration. It's that magical movie that comes about once in a while. Similar to The Social Network, it tackles themes of ethics, corporate greed and interesting characters. This one's way more dark as fudge though. Thank you, YouTube, for not letting me curse, you doofus. My most rewatched and never boring movie, aside from the social network, is of course Fight Club. Directed by Fincher but not written by Sorkin, this movie is better than the book it's based on. It pushed the edginess of its genre for its time and gained a cult following years down the road with its DVD release. 
It tells a thrilling tale of consumerism and value systems of advertising with great direction and clever dialogue that is still quoted around the world to this day. It also has a widely used oxymoronic code, the number one rule of Fight Club, you don't talk about Fly Cup. That's just seared into the brains of millennials ever since its release. But I broke the rule to tell it to you, make sure that you don't do it under the radar. And that's our list of the movies like The Social Network that are highly rewatchable. Do let us know if you know another one like them in the comments below. And like, share and subscribe if you want to support us. I'll see you in the next one.